back, GMB Nation. This is your host, GMB Grace, aka GMB Reacts. And today, I, I'm about done with SpongeBob, bro. They got another SpongeBob trailer coming out. Like, bro, the second <laughs> sequel wasn't even all that, but let's let's give it a try. It's, it's SpongeBob, one of my favorite series of all time, one of my favorite cartoons of all time, coming from Nickelodeon. Let's let's give it a try, bro. Let's Forget the day we met. Ready. Wait, wait. So it's in 3D instead of in 2D, cause like all the all the classic was in two was in 2D. It was literally the original SpongeBob movie was in 2D. They're not gonna stick to that. They're trying to give it that 3D feel. I mean, I guess, but like. That's crazy talk. I'm gonna get my reviews after I finish reacting to this because I, I got a lot to say, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Hello, little snail. What's your name? Gary, huh? Do you want to be friends? <laughs> Me too. Gary, I'm home. Gary? Gare Bear? Gary? <gasps> Gary? Have you seen Gary? No. Nope. Nope. Gary's been snail mapped. Summer, the search begins. Friends don't let friends go on dangerous quests. Yeah! With all new faces. <laughs> Hello. Call me Sage. Good name. I'm made out of sage and I am a sage. So it works out pretty well. I'm Patrick. My name means toaster in Celtic. Pretty sure it doesn't. The most amazing places. The lost city of Atlantic City. Boy, I hope we don't lose focus. Look, I wouldn't worry about us losing. The world. Cotton candy. Ice cream. Churros. And a hero. Let it ride, Patrick. Let it ride. Yeah. You can bet on. Put it on L. Patrick, that's not an L, that's a seven. Seven starts with an L? <laughs> that's weird. The SpongeBob movie, Sponge on the Run. This is gonna be like a buddy movie. Oh, I love your sense of irony, Patrick. Thank you. <laughs> I love my sense of ironing, too. This film is not yet rated. All right, yeah, okay, yeah. So let's, let's, let's digest. First and foremost, it's in 3D, okay? Yeah, so like I said before, it's in 3D. Uh, the animation is spot on. It's really pretty good. Like, But outside of animation, the storytelling. Come on, my dog. This is literally uh, an episode from SpongeBob where S Gary goes missing. This is literally like... I, I like the episode better uh, uh, already before the movie. Like, The storytelling could be better, man. And then we got my boy Keanu Reeves as a special guest. Uh, first, it was Days of Hasselhoff. It'd been great to see another cameo. It'd been great. Whatever. It's just, I'm so done with SpongeBob. I'm not even gonna cap. <laughs> just let it die. <laughs> I love SpongeBob, but I, I, I just wanted to see the old SpongeBob. But this SpongeBob, just let it let it die. I don't know. I, uh, it's not for me. But for the, those that are sp big SpongeBob fans and, um, which I am, I am a big SpongeBob fan, but like, I like old SpongeBob. Uh, for those that are nostalgic SpongeBob fans like myself, you you don't, you you don't even you don't want to see this movie, but then you do want to see this, you want to see this movie just for nostalgic sake, but you don't want to see it because it's like, it's not it's, it, it's, it defeats the purpose of the, of the, of the nostalgia. I feel I, I I don't know I don't know something new is just yeah. it's like when they try to make Teen Titans go with Teen Titans like no I don't want that I just. Give me my old Teen Titans back, man. Like, they just went a whole different avenue. It wasn't even in 2D in the original SpongeBob movie. Now it's like 3D. Like, uh, I, I'm more excited to see the new Sonic movie, to be honest, than this. I, I would pay money to see the Sonic movie before I would see this. I'm not even going to cap. Because at least it's something fresh. It's something I haven't, you know, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I, I, I don't know what's going to happen in, in this Sonic movie. But I don't, I can obviously, like, detect, obviously. It's so easy to figure out what's going to happen in this. It's literally going to be something straight out the episode. I don't know how they plan on going about this, but I really feel like I can just... I, I can see through this like glass, man. This is... 
This is the same old SpongeBob, same old scenario. Just like the episode from SpongeBob, if you've seen like all the episodes of SpongeBob or just a big fan of SpongeBob like I am, you'll you'll know that this this is literally just a ripoff of the episode of SpongeBob where Gary goes missing, and the episode is gonna be ten times better than this movie all all together. Now, I I, I don't know, man. It's I can go on and on about this all day. It's just gonna be negativity, but from a positive point of view, to stay positive, it'll be safe to say I'm excited for the new ch the new age of children to see what we enjoy watching when we grew up. Um, but I would also suggest that you show them the old classics before you show them this one. And if you don't want to show them the old classics and just want to show them this one, that'd be great too. Cause then I feel like they'll be like, what the hell happened? Like, why is it just, why did it, it feel like it downgraded then upgraded? <laughs> the visuals are amazing. I can say that, but the storytelling, no, I'm not, I'm not here for the storytelling. <laughs> I'm not here for this movie storytelling. I, I, I could do some better storytelling than that. Like, give me something first. Like if you're going to talk about missing characters, where the hell is where is Larry the Lobster? Where is he? Come on, man. Where are my Larry the Lobster fans, man? I feel like Amanda show out here, man. And if you're not from if you don't if you didn't watch '90s cartoon shows or 19 '90s TV shows in general, you, you don't have no clue what I'm talking about unless you've seen the reruns in the early 2000s, like I did. Like Amanda show was the it show. That and all that, all all them shows, man. Wild Thornberries, ah, oh, free. Rugrats, they need to redo Rugrats. Why do they keep doing re I know, I know SpongeBob is the most popular, but like, if you're gonna redo something, redo something that we all gonna like, you know what I'm saying, be here for. Rugrats have so many storytelling to do. Like, you could do all grown up Rugrats. I, I don't know, y'all could do a lot with like old, other old Nickelodeon sh stuff. Like, we got rocket power. Come on, man. Y'all, y'all got so much in your hands that you could be doing. Y'all want to do SpongeBob over and over again each and every year. Like uh, it gets a little dry, man. Don't milk, don't milk the cow if you ain't got no more milk left, man. You are gonna freaking just be pulling that rotten udders. Like, come on, bro. What, bro? What are you talking about, man? Anyway, I done turned a one minute and fifty one second trailer into a ten minute rant, and I apologize for that. But I just had to get that off my chest, bro. Y'all have a great day. Stay optimistic. Stay positive. And let's just, let's just, I'm going to give it a chance. I'm not going to go see it, but I'm going to give it a chance. <laughs> great for the young generation to see. That's all I can say. But for the older generation, the older cats like me, I'm like 22, bro. I'm, I may look young, but I'm, I'm old, bro. I'm getting up there, man. We, we, we. We didn't see it all storytelling wise, bro, from this millennium, from the past two decades. And I can tell you, this is this is not it, Chief. But what I can tell you is, it's, it's promising for the new age, the new generation age. The visuals are there. So that's what matters. And, you know, uh, everybody really, really are on the fence about visualization, especially with that Sonic the Hedgehog mis mismatch. Uh, but without further ado, I thank you guys for watching. This is your boy GMB Crates, aka GMBX, GMB. Come home, cause I miss you, Gary.